welcome back to my channel once again. You're watching Amona here on Tour Beauty. Welcome to today's video and as you guys can see from the title of the video, we are back with one of our favourite things to do, a Primark haul. So yeah, I have been sitting with a freaking bag full of Primark stuff in my room for the longest time now. And I was kind of getting impatient because I want to use some of this stuff and I want to go through some of the stuff. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna, you need to sit down and film this. The first thing I got is, if you guys don't know, um, and I've got a bit of a backlog with my vlogs at the moment, but we will catch up with that, guys. But in the backlog of the vlogs, um, you guys are currently watching us set up um, a new office area. With this new office area, I needed some, like, like home decor stuff. Um, so I picked up this beautiful pillow over here. The current chair which I'm sitting on, if you guys can see here, is this really nice kind of, um, like not velvety, but a material um, chair. So I wanted to make, make it super cozy, so I picked up this cute little pillow. They had a one larger than this, but I thought, you know what, this one will be really cute. It will just help support my back when I'm um, working at the computer, which is like five days a week. So I needed something um, because I didn't want to put a typical computer chair in here. Um, just because I wanted to give it a cozy vibe. So yeah, I picked up this pillow here. This was for £7 and the size for anyone's reference is a 45 by 45. I'm actually going to pop it behind me. Ooh. Oh, guys, I can freaking lean back. I can, oh, I can lean back, guys. I then picked up um, these little hair bands. These were a five pack. Often when I am doing my makeup, I've got loads of like flyover hairs, um, if you guys see in my videos. So when I do my makeup, when I've just had a shower, I feel like because my hair's wet from the front, I always just need something to kind of just pin back my hair let it calm down, tame it a little bit. So I picked up these ones here because they have the little combi thing. I've only got three like left. It's a five pack and I had to dig into some Primark stuff guys. So it's been a week since I purchased this. So this is the first thing which I picked up. I then picked up this beautiful purple dress. Um, I'm actually going somewhere today so I might just wear this but I picked up this really cute checkered like lilac, almost like pastel. Um, purple dress. It's super, super cute. It's nice and high neck as well. I don't like a lot of low neck um, um, dresses, so it's nice and high neck, but I am not going to lie, it is that knitted material. So if you're not a fan of knitted, if you're, if you're not a fan of knitted materials, then girl, this is not one for you. It is kind of thick, but I find in the UK we don't get a proper like hot summer so I feel like you can wear it here so yeah this is really really cute I picked this up in a size small a size 10 to 12 and as you guys can see I love the fit of it obviously as you can see from the way I'm trying it on because it is a knitted material it does look thick on the skin but I feel like that looks really nice because often when you have really thin dresses they really enhance your fat and your meat so I thought this was, yeah, really, really super cute. So this was the first thing I picked up and this was for £15. So slightly pr pricey for Primark. I don't know, you guys tell me, do you feel like Primark's getting a little pricey? Because I do. That was the next thing I got. I then picked up a pair of jeans. <laughs> now, I don't know what it is with sizes. Am I just really big and chunky now, guys? Like. Comment down below and don't worry, I can deal with criticism and I can deal with troll because this is a size 12, guys. And as you guys can see from me trying them on, the size 12 look super, super, super tight. They look really tight around the waist and yeah, unfortunately, I will be returning them. They don't look like a good feel. I've been picking up size 10 jeans from New Look and they have been fitting really, really well with plenty of gap and they just look really nice. So I was so surprised that these size 12 wide leg jeans just did not fit me. I did want a pair of like white jeans, but I couldn't find any white jeans. So I saw these beige ones and I just thought like these beige ones would look super cute. So yeah, I picked up these beige ones here and clearly they were just not a good fit. 
Um, these are for £17 as well. They are really, really nice. I really wish that they did fit. Kind of just felt like these wide legs are like that super like mum jeans kind of effect. And I just thought they would have looked so nice with like a nice little bodysuit or something. So yeah, unfortunately they did not go. I then picked up some baby bibs, guys. How cute are these? Um, no, for reference, I am not having a baby. These are for my brother's little bubba. Um, my sister-in-law is now um, 35 weeks and their little bubba is coming very, very, very soon. So what I've been doing is I've just been collecting like little bits and bobsies from everywhere I go. I don't know the gender of the baby, so I do feel bad for the couple because they're going to be receiving a hell of like grey, brown, beigey um, things but I just picked up this um, pack of five bibs because yeah, Bubba will need some bibs. I then picked up a blankie as well. So currently in the office now, um, as you guys can see it's super bright, it's a beautiful day out. But um, the office which I am sitting in now has actually got a lot of like windows and doors uh, well, a door, some windows, so it is can get really, really chilly. So I wanted to pick up um, a nice little um, like blanket for my room, for this room. So I picked up this bad boy over here. But this is a small one, 125 by 150. This was for 12 pounds. It's so soft. It's so nice. So I thought this will be really cute with this pillow, this, they just look really nice together as a set. And I thought that this just like laid over my chair. Um, I'll attach a picture if I do this whilst I'm editing the video. And I thought it would just be really nice to just have across a chair and just um, make my office area look even more nice and homely. So yeah, I picked up this. My office is like a greyish, so I've gone for more like whitey, beigey things to place in the office. And I'm slowly trying to make this office more homely. I haven't really got any decor pieces. I haven't really got anything for the office. I do want to get a few things, but yeah, this is the next thing which I got. I then picked up a pack of five of briefs and I was an e e eager beaver, so I got into these. I picked these up in a size 12 to 14, they're medium. I am a granny at heart. I love being a granny, so sometimes you just need these full briefs, especially when it's that time of the month, you're on your period, and you just want to feel comfortable. So I picked up a pack of five of these, and like I said, I've already used them, so they're probably in the wash somewhere, but yeah, I've taken them out. I then picked up, this is the, my God, the most cutest PJs ever. They are so damn cute. Um, so I picked up this kind of like vest top over here and it came as part of, yeah, it came part of a set. So I picked this up in a size um, 12 to 14 in a medium, but I feel like this is very small for a size 12 to 14. Like, is this meant to be cropped and super, super tight? The idea was to have this a little bit loose. But this is like the bralette top and then you've got these to tighten it if you want to pull your boobies a little bit up. They're really nice. I got them in this lovely kind of like um, pastely navy blue because I just thought this colour was super, super cute. Um, and then these come with these really nice uh, hot pants as well. But then I feel like the shorts could have been um, slightly tighter because this is still slightly loose at the top. But the idea of this belt thing is to be a little bit more tighter. And this basically is really nice because they look like hot pants. So they really enhance your bum. So I think if you want to be sexy and comfortable at the same time, these are really, really cute. And yeah, they'll look really cute. So these were for £7. I then have been living out of the box, guys, and I have been um, really kind of, live, like I said, living out of the box and um, going on the bright side of life, like getting away from the neutrals. So I picked up this like lime green bodysuit. How cute is this bodysuit, guys? It is so damn cute. It's so nice and bright. I just thought this with some white like um, trousers or a nice white bottoms would just look really really nice it's a bodysuit so obviously you guys know the drill the bodysuits just snatch you in and do you know what right i'm not gonna lie i do love zara's tops where they have the small little padding on the boob side and then the rest of it is just one but i find it it's good like thank you zara for doing that but they're not accommodating for big chested people like us 
because when I wear that, I just see the line at my boobs. So I love how the Primark one doesn't have that at all. Um, but I picked this up in a size small, size 10 to 12, and this was a really good price. It was only for £3.50. They just didn't have many other nice colours, so I, that's why I only got the green one. But if they did, I definitely would have been picking up more colours. I then picked up a couple of like beauty-ish things. Um, I don't know, I have so much makeup and I have so many compact things. Um, I am just not one of those girls who carries makeup in her bag. I'll always just have lipstick and that is the utmost thing I'll have in my bag. So I needed to get myself a little vanity mirror. Um, I went out this weekend and I really, really needed one. I'm not going to lie, I'm not one for Disney and I'm not one for like this colour and the rose gold. I am a very plain Jane. I would just probably like a makeup compact or a mirror. But I saw this one here, it's super cute. It comes with the dual mirror here. It's really, really um, kind of, well, not that light, but it is kind of light. It is really easy to open. So I picked up this. Sometimes you just need a mirror, um, you know, when you're out and about. So yeah, I got this one here. This was for £2.50. I then picked up some essentials, which is a hairbrush. I don't know why it's all scratched, but I guess that's what you get for Primark. But I just needed like a very simple-ish hairbrush. I've got another one like this, but I believe my other one is from Wilco. Or is it from Primark? I don't know. But this one is a lot more um, flat from the edges. Um, but yeah, so it's really, really light. I find it's really good for traveling. If you are traveling, you, don't, you want a new hairbrush just for traveling. Then I find Primark is a place to go. This was 90p, guys, like 90p for a paddle brush. So I don't use any hair tangling, hair tangler brushes. I always just use these ones. But yeah, I find this is so um, just convenient and it's so easy. And like I said, can't go wrong with the price as well. I then picked up a beautiful kind of like dish. This is just a Primark um, tray. Um, so I don't know, like I probably wish I got one for like the office here as well. I think this might be really nice to just put in some accessories or something for the desk. So I might just go back and buy another one of these. But I actually got this for my bathroom. So again, I'll attach a picture here. Um, I used to contain, I used to hold my um, soap and lotion um, things part of the set that came from Marks and Spencers, um, and they would. It had a bamboo holder which would hold both the soap and lotion, but the bamboo um, was getting wet and really black and leaving stains on my um, bathroom sink. So I thought I need to exchange it and get something more like glass. I don't know if this is glass. I don't know what this is made of, but um, it's that glassy material. So I got this and I thought you could just put the soap dish and thing on here really, really nicely by the sink. This was for six pounds and yeah, this will definitely not be leaving any stains on my sink. I then picked up, actually I don't have that in here, um, but I'll attach a picture somewhere over here. Um, but I picked up these kind of like shorts um, bodysuit kind of thing just to tuck me into place. Um, I wore it over the weekend on the hen weekend, but it really, 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 really took the life out of me and it squashed me down. I also picked up this one for £8, which is the Seam Free Controlling Body Bodysuit as well. I really like this one because it's got the little straps to tighten to just kind of pull you together. Um, it's really nice and it's got this little like bit over here as well to pull your boobs together. Um, but this is an all over bodysuit. I've never actually worn one of these, believe it or not. Um, but the other one I felt was really hard because it stops just underneath your breast. So I found it really squashed my chest and I just was really, really squashed. So um, I'm hoping and can't wait to try this one and see how this one fits me. I might just wear this today because I am going to be wearing a dress. So I'll see how this one fits underneath there. But this is one that I got. I got this one in a... Um, size 10 to 12 and this was for £8. And then I showed you guys that I bought the lime green bodysuit and I just saw that and I was like yeah I need to wear some white trousers with this. So I picked up these white trousers over here guys. These are these beautiful look trousers over here. They didn't have many sizes left. 
I picked this up in a size 12 guys and this is for £15 and it is really really nice because it's super high waisted um, and it is quite long for me because I am a short girl so that is the only thing about this but it is so damn cute and it looks really really nice with the bodysuit. I love the way it just holds around your tummy and like I said I got this in a bigger size um, just so that I've got the extra breathing space with it. Um, but yeah, so these were the trousers I got. I just saw that lime green bodysuit and I was like, I need to get some white trousers to wear with those because I don't have white trousers. Um, I've been looking for white jeans, but you guys know I didn't have luck with the jeans over there as well. So yeah, I've picked up these trousers over here. Then, believe it or not, I have still not got myself a linen shirt. So again, I was like, damn, I need to get myself a nice linen shirt. Um, so I picked up this one here from Primark, uh, which is this white, beautiful shirt over here. They actually had quite a few shirts, so if you do go looking around Primark, don't just pick up the first shirt you see, pick up a couple and then compare the shirts. So the other shirt I got was a little bit thinner than this linen, and um, that one did not have a pocket. I don't know, I just wanted a shirt that has a pocket. So I picked up this one, and this one I picked up in a size 10. It's very kind of loose-ish, but it's not that loose. So um, I probably will go back and pick up another one, um, just so I can wear that really, really loose feel. But I picked up this one that I can kind of just wear like over a bodysuit. So um, I've shown you guys in the picture, I've shown you guys um, how I've obviously styled this out. It's really cute. You can just wear this just like this or wear this on top of something as well. So it's really nice and it just, it's full sleeved and it's just so super cute. And I find like with spring, summer, you need a linen shirt in your wardrobe. It's like a must. You need to have a linen shirt. Then as I was picking out the trousers, I saw this shirt here. And again, I was like, oh my gosh. Immediately just kind of fell in love with this shirt. It's again a really nice long sleeve shirt. It's got a pocket. This one was for £13 and I picked this up in a size 10. It's really nice. I love the collars. So I feel like you can just do this full shirt up on like a colder day. Do this full shirt up. Wear it with jeans. Tuck one half in, one half out. It just looks super, super cute. You can wear this casually for a brunch and you can kind of just wear this for a dinner as well. So I just thought... It's really nice, it's so cute, I just had to pick this up as well. So this was the next thing which I picked up, well the last thing which I picked up. But I really really hope you guys enjoyed and seeing everything which I purchased from Primark this time. Um, honestly when I went into Primark I was kind of like they don't have a lot. Even when I left I wasn't feeling as content. I felt like they could have had more kind of spring summer pieces. I don't know whether I just wasn't attracted to some of the brighter stuff that they had. But overall, these are a few of the things. I think out of everything, the only thing I will be returning is probably the beige jeans, obviously, because they don't fit me well. But everything else which I got from Primark, I am chuffed with. And like I said, I'm going to start probably, I'm like thinking about it already now. I already had a dress planned for my afternoon today, but now I'm just thinking um, to wear something from here. Um, but yeah, that was everything which I got from Primark, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Primark haul. It's been a bit of a hot minute since I did a Primark haul, so I'm so glad I managed to go and do one. I've also got um, a couple of more like pretty little things and H&M hauls coming as well, so stay tuned to my channel, guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Do share this video as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, then please help a sister out and subscribe to my channel. Join the Tall Beauty family. Um, I've got some exciting videos that come here. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and also on my TikTok as well. I do have some great stuff on both of those. Um, so do check me out on those. But uh, other than that, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I shall see uh, every single one of you in my next video. Bye guys.